Is it time to buy or sell QQQ ETF? In this video, we are diving deep into QQQ. Our initial report was published on our website on Wednesday, the 2nd of October, 2024, and now we are here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You do not want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and receive free price predictions and deep analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since the 1st of October, 2024, our system has ranked QQQ as a sell candidate, assigning it a score of negative 1.31. Let's examine the stock's performance during this time frame. Surprisingly, the stock has outperformed our system's predictions, achieving a gain of 0.14%. This results in an average return of 0.07% per day since it was designated as a sell candidate. The exchange traded fund is currently positioned at the upper part of a broad and horizontal trend. Typically, this might signal a good selling opportunity. However, if it breaks above the upper trend line at $489.16, it could indicate a strong buy signal, suggesting a potential shift in trend. Analyzing the three month trend, we see a projected change of approximately negative 0.98% over the next three months with possible returns ranging between negative 11.28% and positive 0.5%. Regarding the 12-month trend, it indicates a potential change of 29.81% over the next year, with a possible range of returns between 22.21% and 43.20%. This suggests a future price range of $589 to $690.15 after one year. Our latest daily update for the QQQ ETF features the headline, a green day on Wednesday for the QQQ ETF after gaining approximately 0.141%. The QQQ ETF price increased by approximately 0.141% on the last trading day, which was Wednesday, the 2nd of October, 2024. This rise brought the price from $481.27 to $481.95. Throughout the last trading day, the ETF experienced fluctuations of 1.29%, moving from a low of $477.74 to a high of $483.88. Over the past 10 days, the price has risen in seven instances and has increased by approximately 2.23%, over the previous two weeks. Volume decreased on the last day by 18 million shares, with a total of 23 million shares traded, amounting to around $11.19 billion. It is worth noting that decreasing volume amid rising prices can signal divergence, potentially serving as an early warning for upcoming changes in the next few days. In the past 52 weeks, the highest price for this ETF reached $503.52, while the lowest price was $342.35. Currently, the price stands 4.28% or $21.57 below the 52-week high of $503.52, which also marks the all-time high for the ETF. Recent developments in the semiconductor and artificial intelligence sectors are driving interest in the Invesco QQQ Trust Exchange Traded Fund. This is particularly evident as NVIDIA's stock underscores the significance of chips in enhancing artificial intelligence. The increasing demand for AI chips may lead to higher valuations for technology-focused exchange-traded funds like QQQ, providing both short- and long-term investment opportunities. The ProShares Ultra QQQ Exchange Traded Fund has significantly outperformed the S&P 500 year-to-date, achieving gains of over 10%. With the upcoming third-quarter earnings reports and the United States presidential election, 
selling covered calls on this exchange-traded fund is becoming a popular strategy. This approach offers potential income and downside protection for investors. This trend highlights the current market sensitivity to political and economic events, positioning QQQ as an attractive option for those seeking stability amid volatility. As the exchange-traded fund market has surpassed $10 trillion in assets, inflows into technology-focused funds, including QQQ, reflect a broader shift among investors toward prioritizing growth. However, the market is now encountering uncertainties as defensive strategies gain favor. Many investors are moving toward dividend stocks and more stable sectors following the recent technology sell-off driven by valuation concerns. In light of these trends, QQ's performance will likely be shaped not only by its exposure to technology, but also by broader market sentiment and macroeconomic conditions. These factors will influence the outlook for both short-term trades and long-term growth prospects. The following signals have been identified for QQQ. The QQ ETF currently indicates a sell signal from the short-term moving average. However, it also displays a buy signal from the long-term average. Since the short-term average is positioned above the long-term average, this creates an overall buy signal for the ETF, suggesting a positive outlook for the stock. If the ETF experiences further gains, it is expected to encounter resistance from the short-term moving average at approximately $485.53. Conversely, if it declines, support will likely be found from the long-term average at around $474.56. A breakout above the short-term average will generate a buy signal, while a breakdown below the long-term average will trigger a sell signal. Additionally, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, or MACD. It is noteworthy that trading volume decreased during the last trading day, despite the increase in prices. This discrepancy between volume and price may serve as an early warning sign. Therefore, close monitoring of the ETF is advised. Some negative signals have also been detected, which could impact short-term developments. A sell signal emerged from a pivot top point on Thursday, September 26, 2024, and thus far it has declined by 1.54%. Further declines are anticipated until a new bottom pivot is established. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, buy signal, pivots, sell signal 5 days ago, Bollinger, buy signal 42 days ago, short-term moving average, sell signal 3 days ago, long-term moving average, buy signal 17 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages, buy signal 14 days ago. If we examine the 12-month chart, we see short moving average, buy signal 16 days ago, long-term moving average, buy signal 17 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages, buy signal 217 days ago. Remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, risk, and stop loss for QQQ. On the downside, the exchange-traded fund finds support just below today's level from accumulated volume at $448.75 and $439.53. There is an inherent risk involved when an exchange-traded fund is testing a support level, as a break below this point could lead the fund to the next support level. In this case, QQQ finds support just below today's level at $448.75. If this level is breached, the next support from accumulated volume will be at $439.53 and $435.37. This exchange-traded fund is typically traded at a healthy volume, and with minor daily fluctuations, the risk is deemed to be low. Over the last day, the fund moved $6.14, which is 1.29%, between its high and low. Over the past week, the fund has exhibited an average daily volatility of 1.46%. Before we dive into the potential trading levels for QQ, let's briefly examine some important fundamental data. First, let's discuss the price-to-earnings ratio, commonly referred to as the P-E ratio. 
This important metric compares a company's current share price to its earnings per share. A relatively low P.E. ratio may indicate a lack of confidence in the company's future performance or suggest that the stock is undervalued, presenting a possible buying opportunity. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for QQQ. In the event of an upward trend, the first resistance level for QQQ is $482.32. If you do not currently own any shares, it might be wise to wait for this level to be surpassed before entering a position. For those who are already holding the stock, this could serve as a potential level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, QQQ encounters its first support level at $448.75. If this support level remains intact, it could present a favorable entry point, anticipating a rebound. We currently hold a negative evaluation for this exchange-traded fund, and there is no stop loss in place. Is the QQQ ETF a good investment option? Currently, QQ presents several concerning indicators, leading us to believe it will continue to show weak performance in the coming days or weeks. As a result, we maintain a negative outlook on this ETF. Our analysis of the market volatility and fluctuations from the previous trading day suggests that the current price is overestimated. For trading on Thursday, the 3rd of October, we anticipate that QQQ will open lower by 76 cents, starting at $481.19. We want to remind you that trading carries a significant risk of losing money. It is advisable to consult with a financial advisor prior to making any decisions regarding the purchase or sale of securities. Your investment choices should not be based solely on the information from stockinvest.us. By utilizing this information, you acknowledge and accept responsibility for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. What is your target for the exchange traded fund? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and hope you have a wonderful day. With warm regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.